Hey beautiful people, hope you all are doing very well today. Welcome back to the Young and Independent Show, where we discuss a variety of topics to help young folks live lives that are spiritually fulfilled, lives that are value added, lives that are less materialistic, and lives that are financially independent. I'm your host, Seal, and today I want us to talk about a phenomenon that has plagued our our continent, my country, Cameroon. And it's about the misconception amongst family members, young people, old people alike, um, that money is easy to get abroad. You know, I, I would say money does not fall from trees abroad. You see, um, many times when people travel, they start to feel a lot of pressure from back home um, for one reason or the other and generally it's not because uh, it's not because they've given an impression that they're, they're, they're well off or they're better off but just because of the misconception that life is easy abroad and it's very sad because it's not the case and it should not be seen as such. Sometimes when people board the plane or in anticipation of that day uh, when they have to leave their country, their city to another country, um, people tend to <laughs> people tend to have a sleepless night in excitement. Um, uh, one thing which I which I which I find very eye opening is just being able to leave your area where you where you've grown up that you know leave the environment that you you're very accustomed to just to see other places to see how other people live how they relate to to life so that we can have a better understanding of of what life is you know. Um, this podcast really is to debunk the myth. I don't intend to bash anyone or to discourage anyone or to to come across harshly, but I come in peace. I'd like to just bring the other side to the story that life is, you know, smooth sailing on the other side of the planet. That's not true. Um, this issue has to be discussed with with utmost honesty and perhaps if more people knew the truth it would set them free who knows um and and in and in light with what winston churchill said he will face to plan is planning to fail if you go abroad for greener pastures without a solid plan if you're making any plans or if you have any intentions of leaving your country to travel abroad, please have a plan. Please have a plan. Don't be in a hurry to leave the hell that you know, in quotes, into even worse fire that you have no clue about. Granted that some people go abroad and they succeed, and I'll talk about those people here. The aim of this podcast is to bring clarity so that you put all your cards on the table and say, is this something I want to do? So many people think that once you arrive abroad, you know, everything that you... I mean, it's in our DNA, isn't it? When we're growing up, all what they show us on TV is about their country, how fantastic their own part of the world, the Western world is, um, how fantastic they eat, the manners they have, the money that they make. You know, all these dreams that they sell to us through movies, what we watch. It, it, to an extent, it just brainwashes us and gives them... It's about, it's about brain power, isn't it? It gives them um, upper hand on how we view them or how we think about them, what we think about them. And I really do believe that when we start collectively, not one, not two, not not a hundred, collectively as a people back in Africa, 
value our continent, things will start to change. But that's besides the point. Um, when we watch things on TV, commercials, and we hear from friends abroad who do not necessarily tell us the truth most times because people are just full of themselves and they um, they want to make you feel like, oh, they've arrived somewhere or they're better than you because they're somewhere where things are better. That's not always true. Um, because most people who tell you those things are people who are either waiting for government or food, free food stamps, living um, in a council flat, um, waiting for relief checks and stuff like that. People who are honest, they will tell you the good and the bad about Bush, okay? Uh, in, in the example of the United Kingdom where I am, there are millions of people, white and black alike, okay? It's not a black issue, it's not a white issue. It's a country issue who suffer from food poverty, um, I mean, this is the United Kingdom, the safe, rich, richest country in the world. Their residents, their citizens, their residents, you know, let me limit it to residents. They don't have food. They don't have food. Literally, there are families that are praying for kids to go to school all year long because when the kids go to school, the system in the UK provides warm meals for kids once a day. And for some families, that's like a lifesaver because they can't afford to give warm food to their children if the kids are on holidays. And most times, these parents, they will go hungry or they will reduce their, their own uh, uh, portions to make sure that the children have enough to eat. Some children literally don't have a bed to sleep on. This is the United Kingdom we're talking about. In 2020, a report published revealed that working class families couldn't afford pricey, healthy food. You see the bell peppers, you see the spinach, the jamanjama that you can eat, the okoyibong. They can't afford it. That's healthy food, vegetables. It's so expensive. Over here, working class families cannot afford it. So what do they do in order to eat, in order to stay alive? They eat junk food, McDonald's, you know, they give you a big portion for two pounds. You eat that. What's, what, what's going to happen to you? The law of compounding effect. The more you eat that, the worse your health becomes. And then you become ill. And then your life becomes miserable. And then you die. Yeah. Nearly 6 million adults and 1.7 million children were struggling to get enough food between September 2020 and February 2021. That's a research by the Environment, Food and Royal Committee in the UK. Did you hear that number? 6 million adults. Adults, 6 million. 1.7 million children. Guys, it's not a joke. Now I see why Jesus said that there will always be poor people amongst us. It's not about your location. It's not. This is the United Kingdom. You're in Africa, you think you're poor, the Africa is poor. No. In the United Kingdom, where there are so many rich people, there are still poor people amongst us. Sometimes the location, however, could be your, your, your setback, could be the thing that is holding you back from achieving all that God has put in you, the potential in you. Because your location can be the weed, you know, stopping your flower, your or or orchid from blossoming. So you have to move your city. If you're in Douala, you have to move to Bamenda. If you're in Bamenda, you have to move to Boya. If you're in London, you have to move to Manchester. Sometimes you need to move your region from the northwest, but perhaps to the southwest, from the southwest to the littoral region. Sometimes you just have to move your country. You just have to leave your country. Just leave the entire environment. But before you leave, have you tried everything you can? I had a powerful quote from, from um, Les Brown, and in that quote he said, all you can do is all you can do. 
and all you can do is enough. But make sure, but make sure, make sure you do all that you can do. So many people back home are so lazy. They don't want to do much. You know, they're just saying, I want to go to bush. I want to go to bush. If you're lazy, wherever you are right now, you will not make it in bush. It's a fast paced environment. There's no one handing you free food. Or if you don't pay your rent, if you don't pay your rent, you're chalked out. Every day people are becoming homeless. White and black people are like, if you think I'm lying, go on YouTube right now and type benefit street, Liverpool, United Kingdom. Go right now. If you think I'm lying, See the number of people who are homeless, who are unable to eat, who are living in deplorable conditions. Perhaps you would look at, look at yourself where you are right now and say, hey, I'm doing good. I'm better than good and, uh, and, 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 and better than most. You would say, I am better than good and I'm better than most. I know that at home people are brought as, uh, are considered as wealthy and better off, but I tell you the truth, you will be shocked at the life that some of these individuals, you know, uh, uh, who who sell these dreams to you are living. If you burn your bridges and travel abroad with the impression that life is magically easier, or that money is so easy to get, low-hanging fruits. you will be in shock. Many times people run, you know, um, the risk of immeasurable hardship. You know, they they get depressed. Uh, They they start being frustrated. They start having health conditions because of the things I've mentioned earlier. And, And then some people have actually committed suicide. Yeah. Because they left their home countries thinking, oh, we're going for greener pastures. Things are going to be just fine. And they never made it home. They never did. They would have been better off where they were if they did everything that they could to make life better for them. It's about the mindset. It's not about your location sometimes. Other times, it may be about your location So think about it and think twice. You're more than welcome to Bush, but make sure you have a plan. I don't want another black brother, another black sister in the streets, sat at the street corner as a beggar when you could have been home doing the little you could do. I don't want another black brother, another black sister at the street corner injecting themselves with substances because they've become frustrated and they've turned to drugs. I don't want another brother and another black sister to become a prostitute selling your body just to be able to make ends meet. It saddens me. It breaks my heart every time I come across my fellow Africans who probably, most likely, left with the illusion that life was better, the grass was greener on the other side. Don't live with with an illusion. Live with a plan. Live with a fallback. The best way to come abroad is to come as a student, if you must. And if, if 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 you can't and you decide to come as an immigrant, please have a plan, have a fallback. Reach out to someone you know who should be willing to accommodate you. Don't just come bras ballant, as the French Frenchman says. You won't find it funny. But meanwhile, do your best. Do your best where you are. Your best might just be enough for you. We've come to today's the end of today's podcast. I encourage you to join us on Facebook or uh, Young and Independent People, on Instagram, Young and Independent35. On YouTube, Young and Independent. And check out our website. There's an article there, Money Doesn't Fall from Trees Abroad. www.youngandindependentoneword.com I hope you enjoyed it. Please share, leave a comment below, and like. 
Thank you so much. Until next time, do take care.